Hey guys, my name is Dina and you know I've never really made a YouTube video before so I decided you know why not give it a shot and I just went to the Stray Kids concert the other day and I decided why not to give some like concert advice. So I've been to a total of five K-pop concerts plus like um, meet and greet. So my first ever K-pop concert was in September of 2018 with BTS Love Yourself Tour. <laughs> My second one was February of 2019 with Red Velvet. <laughs> April, I met NCT. They went to a radio show and I got in, so I got to meet them. Welcome! <laughs> and take a picture with them. And then after that, I went to Super M in late 2019. <laughs> And then in January, I went to Seventeen, and then... <laughs> then just a few days ago, I went to Stray Kids. And I... <laughs> I've been like meeting on starting YouTube for a while, but like, it didn't work out because I'm lazy. Okay, so... Um, this is really, I don't know why I'm, this is, this is on the camera, okay. So, I just wanted to give some advice for your, all of you who, like, maybe never been to a K-pop concert or are planning to go but just don't know what what to do or, like, how to start off with it. Um, it's nerve-wracking because if you're, sometimes your group comes and, like, you want P1 but so do so many other people and it's, it's difficult. And so, my, hopefully this video will help y'all, I don't know. If it will, my little cookie is like down there, but anyway, um, yeah, so I hope this video helps y'all. Okay, so the first topic is buying tickets. And so that's like the main bulk of like the stressful process. And I know BTS is coming soon. Um, their tickets go on sale in like two days. And if you're in like the membership pre-sale, it's tomorrow. So that's probably nerve wracking for you. I hope... I really want to get P1, maybe P2, but honestly, even if I make it in the stadium, that's good enough because it's scary. It's really scary, so I don't I don't know how, how that'll go, but what I recommend is I've done both Ticketmaster and AXS, so for AXS with Stray Kids and Ticketmaster I used for Super M and things like that. Ticket, I, um, I had to have, I've had more luck with AXS. I've, I've gotten better seats with AXS, but Ticketmaster might be a little bit easier I don't I don't really know but okay so I'm gonna kind of break down the pros and cons of both so if you're doing AXS for stray kids it was really weird so for stray kids they did not have a waiting room which I don't sure if that was a, a great thing or not because the bad thing about it was that obviously more scalpers more people just coming in like buying a bunch of tickets and then it's not unexpected they didn't say that they weren't gonna have one and then like the good thing about it was that there's no waiting room. You don't have to wait in like a long line. You just go in and like fend for yourself. And so you just, for for AXS, if you're buying tickets from AXS, I had around 18 tabs open between three different devices. So my phone was one of them. I had the app. I had my laptop. And then I had like, do not open different tabs. Open different windows and then minimize the windows and then put them in like, around your screen so like you can see all of them at the same time and you can see which one's working the most and then i had like six other ones on my brother's computer and so all those at the same time i tried and so you'll see that one or two of them process like way faster and so once you get all those tabs open you kind of just monitor them all and keep refreshing 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 and one or two of them will just hit the other ones would probably some like five month crash the others like were slow but two of them kind of just got in and so if you don't get the ticket you want in the first try i made the mistake of almost getting the ticket so like i wanted p1 but i almost got p2 and then my friend who was on the phone said, no, 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 wait, I, I think I got P2. And so she bought the P2, and then I was like, you know, just in case, this was 40 minutes after the tickets went on sale, just in case you just re constantly refresh the page. AXS is weird. It 
releases tickets in bunches it doesn't release everything at the same time so you must like just just if it says no more tickets available well like if th there are going to be tickets available you just have to constantly refresh 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 and they're like constantly giving you more so then i end up getting um p1 for straight kids for high touch that was great it was a great like, we got aisle seat and it was a great thing if y'all want to know about more about my experience on that let me know but this is just like an advice video you should be at like the ticket selling website wherever you are at least an hour before it might seem a little excessive but it's better to just have everything set up an hour before and then you can chill till the time versus like getting there 10 minutes before and trying to set everything up and then be late so make sure to have everything set up and then you can do chill whatever and then it'll automatically take you to the waiting room and then you can wait there i pro i recommend y'all to get really good wi-fi so if you think your house or your school your dorm whatever does not have great wi-fi then i do recommend you go to either starbucks or like a pc bung or something like that where you can actually get good quality wi-fi um my one of the girls i met at the stray kids concert she got first row of stray kids and she was at a starbucks bathroom so like low-key i think i'm gonna go to starbucks but the bts ticket to let's see how that goes i'm so terrified okay so with Ticketmaster, Ticketmaster is trash. I hate Ticketmaster because they don't allow you to have 50 tabs. Ticketmaster is a rule where it's like if you have more than like one or two tabs open, they like they tell you they take you out of the line. So you kind of only have one chance. And then Ticketmaster also has more scalpers. And then Ticketmaster also does dynamic pricing, which is I think it's the stupidest thing ever. As soon as things go up in demand, like the price is raised and it's just it makes no sense to me. It's just another way to make more money. Anyway, so both of them the same thing. A device or a Ticketmaster or AXS or any other company you or you're buying tickets from. Make sure you get there an hour before. Set everything up. Read the rules on their website and watch like web, uh, videos on that specific website. So if you're doing this, hmm. okay. So when you get your ticket, unless you have a specific ticket in mind that you just really want like um I, you only want p2 or you only want p4 right pick that option but then if you want the best seat just pick best seat right and if if like you pick best seat and you get p2 but you want p1 just go back and continue clicking best seat like that's not the best seat that's just the one that's probably not in someone's cart right now so just if you don't get the ticket you want just keep going i've watched videos of people uh, an hour after they like the tickets go on sale they still get p1 because people either their screens crash and their their tickets they lose it in the cart and stuff like that so make sure to just constantly keep trying now after like a while you keep trying and you only get the same ticket and you don't get the ticket you want then you can start like purchasing it but i do recommend you just keep trying and getting that p1 ticket because you probably have a good chance of doing it these things in k-pop are light sticks every fandom every group has a light stick um at some point and so i made the big mistake of not buying a light stick online and honestly just buy it online like i wanted to save like ten dollars go to the venue buy it but stray kids light stick sold out in 10 minutes in 10 minutes they did an announcement of doors opening that they sold out light sticks and i was in the merch line and it sold out it was so upsetting and but in just in case i packed a set of fairy lights and so there are these like battery powered fairy lights and um i wrapped them around my hand so i'll insert a picture here over here or somewhere editing skills and so i wrapped them around my hand and i just kept waving my arm my arm is so sore like but it was worth it because my battery is the one i bought it was like 13 dollars on amazon and i ended up, it could change to like 15 different colors and so every time a song came on i like changed the color to that song and it like it worked out really well it really it does a good job of getting people's attention the members just like looked at my arm and they're like what is happening but like if that's what you want and that's what i wanted so if that's what you want that's a good little technique also i had a meme shirt 
I was planning on wearing it for this video, but I completely forgot before I started. But so this is the shirt I made for the Stray Kids, and then on the sleeves I have Balchan, and on the other one I have like. Sneaky honey, and then on the back it says Stray Kids World Domination. But yeah, so I made this shirt, and a lot of people complimented it. And I think, and I think that Stray Kids noticed it because a few of the, like Han especially like looked at my shirt, and he laughed. And I'm sure y'all don't know, but Ji Sung is like my old bias, so that was that was great. And so yeah, so make sure to buy a light stick online. It probably is a little more expensive with shipping, but it's worth it like you don't go to a concert and just not have a light stick i i personally have been to every single concert without a light stick the only concert i've ever been to with a light stick was um was bts but after that every single concert i've been to i don't have a light stick and you don't need a light stick and personally all the concerts i've been to i've been to like p4 or p5 i don't have and so streak is the only one that i went to p2 sorry p1 and I felt bad because I really wanted a Stray Kids Light Stick. They're my old group. So I was like, I really want to pay a stick, Stray Kids Light Stick. But if you can't get a Light Stick or you can't afford a Light Stick, please don't stress about it. You can get those fairy lights at Amazon for $10. Like, there are other ways. You don't have to spend an arm and a leg to get a Light Stick. It doesn't make you an inferior fan. Like, you're just as worthy of being there. You, If you spend $200, $300 for P1, and you can't afford a light stick, it, 100%, that's okay. Like, you don't need to buy the light stick. You'll have a fun time with or without a light stick. And, you know, just keep in mind that if you do really want a light stick, then just keep, just make sure to buy it online. Venue. If you have a seated seat, right? If you, if you are seated, then get to the venue whenever you want. I always get seated. I'm kind of scared of pit. And so I always get seated. Um, it's really like, it's chill. You go there, you have your seat plan. It works out really well. And then after that, if you want to get freebies, kind of go on Twitter like a few days in advance and scope out like who's giving freebies, search up the hashtag. People are usually selling stuff, giving freebies and things like that. And so someone was selling a Mido album for $10. And so I got a Mido album for $10. They were unsealed, but you got any photo card you wanted. So I got a Han photo card and like uh, two, and I got a Mino and um, Hyunjin photo card. But yeah, so that was pretty great. But then uh, there were a lot of freebies. And so if y'all want to, I I can make a different video about my whole Stray Kids experience. But um, scope out what you want and then when you get to the venue ask them what time they're gonna get there dm them if you have to like try finding out when and where you can meet these people to get the freebies you want and a lot of time if you come to the venue around three hours earlier that's what i did for stray kids but then i went to super m and i got there like 10 minutes before the concert started it was just as good depends on what you want if you want merch get there early so that you can get in the doors early but if you don't want merch you don't want freebies you just want to go to the concert and live your best life do that like you don't have to go like right before you don't have to go 10 hours earlier i've never been to pit but if you want pit you probably, I don't know, camp out or something. That's not my area of expertise. I'm not a huge fan of that lifestyle, but not the video for that. But just get maybe get there early, get in line. I know a lot of, I've heard a lot of bad stories about like people, especially with BTS, like there were like these group of girls who like go around and like harassing people to get barricade, but whatever. So yeah, so if you want those freebies, you gotta like scope out it and then if you go three hours earlier just keep walking around a lot of people are, people are so generous they'll just they'll give you the cutest little things know where you're going of course get like understand how far away it is most of the concerts that i go to are like, at least an hour away um maybe th if it's like an hour 45 minutes away especially with traffic it's just more so um and know where you're going things to bring to a concert the first thing uh d portable charger Oh my god, portable chargers, it like saved me. So make sure to get a portable charger and charge it up to full because you probably won't get an outlet over there. So get a portable charger so you can recharge your phone and get those amazing fan cams. And then 
batteries bring but if you have a light stick bring batteries i bought batteries and then i um bought them for my light stick but i didn't get one so i ended up giving my batteries away to someone who needed it more but um yeah bring batteries extra batteries so because your light stick don't okay so with light sticks it might be off but the batteries are still running so whenever you're not using your light stick take the batteries out because that's how you um can assure that they're gonna last long so make sure to just take your batteries out every time you're not using the light stick bring banners they do get attention everyone who had banners they got their attention from their face i had some my friend got me um a banners from fan site and they were super cute and i took them i went to the airport to see straight kids and so i had my banner up and i feel like some of them recognized the same banner i'm not sure but yeah so they'll see you i made little like face cutouts of their meme faces that was good so get little things to hold up they'll notice you they'll say hi so that's good and so and then also if you don't have a light stick or you just want something extra bring those like fairy lights um, they're great i might link them down in descriptions the one i specifically bought um and those ones are really great and it's like battery life i bought duracell batteries so maybe it's the ba maybe it's the batteries but those are great quality fairy lights as well and they're like really easy to wrap around your arm and so if you get high touch make sure to just not stress about recording i made the mistake of stressing about recording and as i got in I, my phone was in one hand and they didn't like they told me to put my phone away but i was i had trouble putting it away and by the time i put it away like i was at the front line and then it was really weird kind of like don't get scared i got scared and i didn't really take really good risks like I didn't do high touch that well. I just went and said hi, hi, hi to everyone, but I didn't actually say anything meaningful or nice. I had so much planned for high touch, but all I could get was just saying hi to members, and it kind of just ruins everything because it's like it's kind of like the only chance. I don't think straight kids are gonna come back and do high touch again. Um, they're probably like what groups do is like the bigger they get, the less benefits you get. So they might come back next year and do sound sound check. But yeah, that was really unfortunate and i wish i did better but yeah i ended up actually getting a video of like i didn't realize i thought i didn't record it but i got home and there was a voice recording of my high touch and it's basically just me saying hi so it's really sad but yeah don't stress about it too much but kind of understand what you're gonna say and it's high touch is literally like 10 seconds long with with if you're going through i heard my music taste is much longer they're really nice but with subculture they go like so fast it's like 10 seconds so you gotta just be like hi i love you blah 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 but just say what you gotta say and kind of prepare for it and don't stress out too much those are kind of like my basic tips and tricks for concerts um like i always go to concerts with a friend but trust me it doesn't matter you're gonna make friends there all of you have something in common you love this group in the lines you wait um while you're seating the person next to you there's so many nice people k-pop fans are so sweet so welcoming and so just go in there and even if you're going alone don't worry about it you're gonna find friends i always go with a friend just like because i have friends who like k-pop so they come with me to the concert but if you have no one who likes k-pop trust me that's your place to make friends that's your place to um make those lifelong friendships so go there and get to know the people around you it's gonna be a great time and that's if you want merch honestly if you really really want i'm pretty sure merch that isn't light sticks doesn't sell out at concerts so if you want to buy something that's like not a light stick at a concert you'll probably get it but just in case be if you want a light stick make sure to buy it online because i made that mistake i didn't get it get battery packs know where you're going um and things like that i saw stray kids at the airport i went to go welcome them so if y'all want a video on like how to welcome your k-pop group to the airport like let me know and i can make a video on like how to welcome k-pop idols we were super respectful we didn't mob thank god we gave them ample space to walk and that's what you need and you can see in their faces they're just so happy with the amount of respect you give them so the more respect you give to your idols the better they are and so yeah that's kind of like my little advice video on just like the basic rundown of like buying concerts k-pop things like that and just my little tips and tricks if you have any more questions leave them down below 
and yeah bye